YouTube, what is up guys? So I have been skateboarding for a long time and I've released a lot of video parts over my years. When I first started skating, I would do it myself and I would just make my own skate videos with my friends, which I guess I've been doing that ever since, but uh, it wasn't on the internet for people to see. I think this video part is my second video part, it does exist somewhere on the internet, but I've never reviewed it. So I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna show you guys the footage and then uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it, but you get to see some very old footage of me. This is actually an interesting video part because I filmed this one within six months of my first video part coming out. I didn't know that I shouldn't use skate park footage. That wasn't really a thing. We just kind of made skate videos. The thing about it is that I was recovering from an injury and the doctor told me to not skate at all for six months and then I filmed my entire part in those six months. I was a teenager and I probably wouldn't listen that much now, but either way, I filmed this whole part recovering from an injury and there's a lot of sloppy tricks in there, but I was super happy to film another part. Let's get watching this. This is from the Beachfront Mob second video, Remain Silent, and uh, the music is copyrighted. I can't show it to you. I don't know, below. I, I don't I don't know how I'll deal with it, but if there's other music kind of happening with it, that's why. I remember, yeah, I started it out with a board throwing section. I was a very hot-tempered dude growing up, um, and I winded through and broke my boards. And I thought it was cool to do an intro with it. <laughs> I got so mad, dude. All right, so this first gap was one of my favorite gaps I ever, I ever tried. Boom, you see that? Yeah, that board, it wasn't even cracked. It just exploded. That gap is about the size of a 14 stair. I don't know if you can tell on that, but that was a very hard gap. Like to this day, like I could do it, but I would not want to. Like I had to push so hard to get the speed for it. And it was just, it was ridiculous. But I'm psyched that I did. I think I did it a couple times, like growing up. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a second angle. Oh, we got a backside 50-50 on NKU 8 there. That is the best hander on skateboarding history. It's unfortunately gone now, but I love that thing. Casper flip across the worst gap ever. This is on Beach Run Avenue, the street I grew up at, and I hand touched. Like I said, there's some sloppy tricks in here. I, I totally went back to this spot like a few years ago and I was like, this is the worst thing in the entire world, but you know, whatever. Casper flip, front side, board side, that rail still exists. That's a really tough rail to skate, uh, mainly because I just never take the time to skate tall things, but that's like, it's almost like a handicap rail. It's a little lower than it, um, but uh, yeah, front board. The worst, there's a night vision on the cameras we used to use, and that was a kickflip back tail. Like, I'm surprised I did it. I think I hit my back truck in the dirt and still rolled away. And then all these clips are cut really fast too, so we're already on to the next, the nose slide. Two shove, which was, I think, I don't know if my foot touched right there or not, but that was the first I think no side two show I've ever done. I've done a few since. Super psyched on how that kickflip came out. Uh, it like tweaked out and it wasn't a huge gap, but I just loved how it looked. And here is the first line of my video part. Don't worry about my front, my top half. You don't need to see that, I guess. There's a three flip. I didn't need to do that kickflip, but I wanted a middle trick and I didn't know any better. To board slide. Uh, I was pretty excited about that line. I think it plays the board slide, yeah, from a second angle, which should have been a different second angle because I was so similar to the first one. I don't know if it was like that session, but I think later, like soon after, I did a full cabinet on the three stair and then I front boarded the nine and I stuck and got wheel bite and fell off and then we got kicked out and I never got to go back to landing. I love, I always loved how that half cab flip looked. And then I uh, do a little, I popped out of this, boom. Fitty fitty finger flip across the flower gap. Uh, that's actually a really scary ledge because there's, it's like, it's not like flat on top. It's like a rail almost. Like you, you get on and your truck's only grinding on one ledge, but if you went over, your feet would get caught up and you would just kind of fall to your head. It's, it's hard to explain. That's a, that's the big part on us. It's a very big kickflip. I don't know if the lens makes it, but it's like a six foot tall kickflip. And uh, I didn't realize that I landed it. And it was kind of sloppy, but I remember rolling away like, oh my gosh, I did it. And I was so excited. So I kept it. There's a switch 180, horribly sloppy, 50-50. This is the steepest hand row ever. I would not skate this to this day. The worst lip slide ever, but like I said, I was like so excited to be doing some of these tricks. They were the first time I've been doing them that I was hyped. This gap was large. And I remember that, yeah, I had a hand touch, but I didn't, that was another one of the times that I was like, oh my gosh, I rolled away. Funny thing with this next trick, it's a front salad kickflip, see? That was second try. I had never tried that trick in my life until that moment. I've done some five okay flips, but I'd never done a front salad kickflip. And then I did a second try, and, I'm, and I haven't tried it since. Like, that was the end of that. I remember asking my friend, we were skating this mini ramp, I was like, hey, I want to go try a front side kickflip out in front. Will you film me? And then I did two tries, and we were back like, you already did it? Like, yeah. Kickflip 5-0. That was one of the smoother tricks in my part. That was the best. That was skate fest. We used to just get a bunch of ramps. we built some stuff, and the whole community would come together to skate once a week. And it was probably the best, the most fun of skating I've ever had in my life was, was skate fest. It was great. 
no I live on the lowest handrail ever. Nose grind on a park rail in Corona. This rail, all right, so my filmer, Joe, buddy, you were way too close when you filmed that. <laughs> But uh, that's a super steep and low rail. Like we used to skate them because we didn't know any better. But man, that lift slide. Not, and that wasn't special back then. But nowadays, I'd be like, I would rather go to a bigger rail any day because it'd be easier. Very dark backside flip. The story of this, see how gross that roll away was? I thought that was dumb. And then my friends were like, dude, that was the best roll away ever, man. You have to keep it. And I believed them. And I was like, oh, cool. You guys liked it. I'll keep it. I like literally power slid on my butt. But whatever. And then I followed it up with a three flip. Took impact of like, like a 30 stair, but I was really hyped that I got a three flip on an eight. Do a little front board sex change lip slide. 50 50 finger flip. Is that the second one I've done in my video part so far? Yeah, I had two of them. Oh well. Back when 80 down one of the best gaps ever. We always used to get kicked out of that growing up. And then the, the car dealership went out of business and then the gap was open to skate, but the, the parking lot was so gross that it wasn't as good of a gap anymore. So that was a shame, but I was psyched at least I got it back when I'm pretty sure that guy in the background is about to kick me out. Full cab down the Donatos. Uh, I always wanted to do that down the bigger part, like the six foot drop and I stuck it, but I never landed it. 5-0 down a big skate park ledge. I was, I, was, I was really scared of that that day. And then when I finally got the guts. I rolled up to it for like 30 minutes. I 5 would at first try, of course. That's my first front board on a handrail, which is like a double rail, which is kind of scary, but I was so awkward. It's funny because front board is the easiest thing in the world to me now, but that was tough and I did it and you can see how I barely rolled away. It was the only nollie backside flip I ever filmed and I used to be able to do those, not like crazy off the edge of the loading dock like I did there, but I used to do them good. I should get them back. I just never practiced switch, man. I, I don't really like switch that much. I have a few tricks though. All right, super overexposed front 50-50. That was, that back 50-50 was the first grind on a rail that you could actually stand up on and I was just, that was one of the tricks that everyone in the community was like all right man Andy maybe isn't some comic shop nerd uh the kick flip on Donatus for the first time was one and then when I did that people like were like this guy's on a different level so but that was you know handrails were worshipped back then so if you do rails like you were like mad respected so I didn't really care about that I was really hyped that I started skating because that's what I wanted to skate so I was a very happy dude that was the best ledge ever all of these tricks right here you got super kicked out. It was at a college in Riverside, California. They eventually destroyed it, like literally with a sledgehammer. We came to it one day and it was just broken apart. But that was the best. If I could skate that right now, I would do 10 tricks on it. My gosh. We need to recreate that ledge somewhere. It was so good. It was The only thing that was weird is that roll away. See how like I'm kind of like really trying to get past the line there? It was kind of hard to go around the corner, but if you just put a piece of wood down like kind of there, you could make it happen. That is a very large gap. That is uh, down on, on Beachman Avenue. It's still there to this day. Not many people have done tricks on it. And this backs on 80, which is not the best angle. I'm sorry, Joe. But that was the best backs on 180 I've ever done in my life. And it was exhilarating. Like, I just, it was one of those moments that I just could not believe I did it. I rolled away feeling so good. And then I landed the big gap. That's a really big gap. I dolly over a bush. And my trucks, if you see me rolling away funny, it's because my trucks were really trying to not let me roll away. And then I did it. And I put my arms up like Josh Casper. Triple flip, that was my first triple flip, I do believe. I think my only street triple flip. I should try to go do another one of those for my video part. And that's it, that was my video part. My second video part, Beach Mobs Mobs, full, second full length video, re remain silent. A lot of sloppy tricks. This is my actual review part. And eh, we'll keep it so. This is my actual review part. There's a lot of sloppy tricks, but like I said, I was recovering from my worst injury ever, okay? I wasn't supposed to be skateboarding. With that said, uh, I'm really psyched that I put it out. It's impressive that I did that within six months, um, and I and it was vastly better than my first part. Um, there's definitely some tricks in my first part that could be in this part that would make certain tricks in this look look worse, but overall, like I did some like rails, I did some big gaps, I did some flip tricks. I really liked the part, and I really should have cleaned those things up, but I didn't have a lot of time to film, and I just kind of rolled with it. We had fun. So, uh, could have been better, but I'm really psyched on it. That's my bottom line, all right? Um, I do have a few more video parts, and I'd like to review them. If you guys like this, go down there and give it a video a thumbs up, and then uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think. But that is it, guys. I'm gonna go to Brian Ames. We're gonna go interview Brian Ames real fast. Actually, I'm gonna eat a crouton. <laughs> Got way too excited there. Pretty good crouton. All right, let's go interview Brian Ames. Brian Ames, Hi. you are playing golf with Michael Jordan. What is your first thought? I'm gonna lose. Bonus question, okay? You have to eat three pounds of broccoli right now, raw, not cooked. That would, that would be horrible. It's not even a question. I just have to do it? Yeah. It's not even a question, though. You, you have to. That sucks. I'm going to go get it. Okay. Okay.